Manchester City women ensured they ended the FA Women's Super League season on a high with a hard-fought 2-1 win over title-chasing Chelsea ladies. 11 minutes in and Chelsea were forced to make a change. Goalkeeper Marie Hurrahan clashed with City's Georgia Brown and stayed down after falling heavy on her right shoulder. Claire Farrow came on for her Chelsea debut as Hurrahan was helped into an ambulance. The stopper took to Twitter to thank the City staff for their help on the day. Chelsea went close to opening the scoring when Eniola Aluko's deep cross was met by the head of Rachel Williams, but Sabi McManus was on the line to clear for City. On the half-hour mark, Jill Scott gave City the lead. With Chelsea needing to win to secure the title, they fell behind to this strike from the England international. That lead was then doubled with a goal of the highest quality. Scott turned provider this time, and when her cross found Tony Duggan, the striker's chest and volley was exquisite. With 20 minutes remaining, Jilly Flaherty's bullet header gave Chelsea a glimmer of hope. With Liverpool beating Bristol Academy 3-0, the London side needed a draw to win the league. Yuki Ojimi went closest to getting the goal in the last minute, but there was to be no Aguero moment as debutante Alex Brooks produced a smart stop to tip the ball around the post. With seconds left, Chelsea continued to press, but they couldn't convert a scramble in the box, and Brooks held on to the ball and City's lead. As a full-time whistle blew, it confirmed Liverpool as champions for a second year running. City go into Thursday's Continental Cup final against Arsenal full of confidence.